Alrighty fam, welcome back to another video. So I'm revisiting this <laughs> and there's a reason I'm revisiting this uh, twofold. One, because I got so much grief from the, well not grief, but you guys told me where I stuffed up in my last videos with LR Escanor and I wanted to give them another go. Um, secondly, I managed to invest in Eastern of Authority. So I wanted to see how she kind of helped and affected everything. Uh, and then also I think I've kind of got this down pat now, I think. Um, as soon as I say that, I'm going to lose every match now, right? But I think I've got an idea of how I want to play this team. And also, I feel like this is actually quite a good Demon King counter. Now, hear me out. I'll explain why. Um, hopefully, we get a Demon King and I can just show you guys. So, as you guys see, we're talking Roxy, Transcendent Barn, LR Escanor, and then Easton in the back. So, full human team. Not too different to the last team that I used. Um, but I'll explain why. So, now, I am so <laughs> nervous about uh, dodge food now. So, I always start with a Roxy AoE just to get that card out of the way. Cool. So, that's fine. No dodge food. Now, then I pretty much always follow up with this barn card. And I'll explain why in a second. And hopefully, this will showcase why. A guaranteed crit. Don't kill. Death damage from Roxy kills, right? So the benefit of this is that's my basically routine every single time now. I used to always go in with the Eskinor cards first. And obviously, as you guys know, uh, the, the, the more Eternal Flames you have procking up, the better it is for Eskinor. So I'm kind of uh, about that life now, <laughs> if that makes sense. Now, ideally, I have kind of stuffed myself up, right? Because I did crit the, the Lost Fame, but I was scared about dodge food. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to do this. Uh, and then I'm going to do this and this and see how much damage I can do on the Dian. Now here's the thing. My um, my Escanor is going to die here. And that death damage is going to kill. So the combination of Roxy, Barn, and Escanor is actually insanely good in my opinion. Um because it's basically allowing me to just get that extra bit of damage every single time is basically just securing me the, the kill, right? And it becomes a massively clutch when I get it for Demon King. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to eat cards at, at uh, Melee. To make sure he dies. So again, we do 50k damage and then suddenly it's 80k damage, right? This should kill, in theory. So uh, the team is built around Escanor for sure, but it's not actually really, <laughs> I suppose, about Escanor. Like, it's more about the fact that he's then becomes the target, right? Like, and then Barn and Roxy can just do the work. So obviously with um, with Halloween, Easton in the back, I'm, every time I kill someone, I'm also getting the attack-related stat increase, right? So if I do, if I look at this... Uh, if heroes, nope, not that one. Increases human allies' basic stats. Sorry, not attack stats, basic stats. So I'm basically instantly getting an increase in uh, basic stats because I'm killing someone instantly because I have the um, crit damage that bypasses all these damage caps, right? The one thing that's a problem with this team is I don't have an infect, right? So obviously if you've got Rudius or something like that, Rudius is a great choice for the Demon King Tamiul Link problem. Uh oh to make sure I'm eating my, 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 I don't think it's going to matter too much because most people aren't running CC food anymore. They're all running dodge food, but I want to make sure I go first because if I can go first, I can make sure I can guarantee this kill, right? Hopefully we get a demon team so I can show you guys what I mean when it comes to actually fighting the demon king, but it's, it's almost become Escanor is the big scary target. So they go after Escanor and then the, the other two do damage or they go after the other two and then Escanor starts to cook because he's had a couple of turns to build up. Okay, perfect. So, Let's hope this goes well, but I'll show you guys pretty much my instant kind of strategy here. So, again, we bait out the dodge food with this. And then, I presume Demon King's got Tamiul Link. Yep. So, it means, so it basically means that Melee doesn't, right? So, what I do here is I just do the 1-2 combo with Barn. And, fingers crossed, it kills. Usually it kills, but I suppose we'll also see. Um, I'm a little scared with no crit. But that's okay. So let's see how this goes. Not going to kill, is it? No. Okay. So <laughs> usually that kills, right? And usually that puts me in the spot that I want to be in. 
Um, but of course, I don't get the basic stat increase. Melee's probably going to full heal now. So look, not the ideal. And Demon King's then going to get what he needs to and then one turn me. So look, force for the video, it doesn't work. Is it perfect? No. Uh, it does. Dem is Demon King still incredibly threatening? Of course, right? Like, he's still going to be a massive threat. Uh, curious. Are you going to go true magic? Yeah, so my Escanor's dead. So again, they focus on Escanor, right? Which is what they should be doing. Um, now, if I can get a barn. Yes, okay, I can. So this is the thing. I'm going to kill... I'm going to kill Melee here, which is nice. But, okay, you know what? I'm actually going to go straight for the Demon King. We're going to do this. This. So hopefully you'll see the... the the death damage kicking in here. So there's the crit. There's the additional death damage. Right. Because Demon King's a scary one who's about to get the stat buff. So this should hopefully... Perfect. So all those additional death damages actually allowed me to, to kill him. Now, look. Is the melee probably going to kill me? Yes. Because <laughs> he's now got true magic. And if he's got a decent card, I'm dead. And my hand is now full of eastern cards. Um... But that ideally is what I'm trying to do first turn, right? To the melee, give myself the basic stat increase. Yeah, there goes my barn. So now I'm definitely in trouble. Um, so I probably lost this one. But hopefully you guys are seeing the purpose of... Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was rough. Um, it's, it's very hit and miss in that first turn, right? Like you want, you need to kill the melee the first turn. So nine times out of ten, I think that's the first time I haven't killed the melee in about... 10, 15 PvP matches, so that's just the way it goes. So look, it's still going to be a hard Team 2 counter because of the damage cap and the reductions and all that kind of stuff. But hopefully you kind of get... There you go. That is exactly my team. So here I actually think... Now, I'm a little bit concerned he does have dodge food. And the first person I need to kill is that barn. I'm so scared, paranoid about dodge food now. Yeah, there you go. It doesn't have it. That's fine. But it's it makes me so paranoid. Oh, I'm curious. I don't think I'm gonna kill him. Maybe I should have gone for the Roxy. Not even close. So that barn damage cap is really helping them there. Um, I definitely okay. I got another combine. I got another combo, which is good. So I'll probably maybe even go after the Roxy. We'll see. Um, this is gonna be the one, <laughs> the one time where this team fails me. I can tell, but. Curious. Okay. Yeah, so straight for Barn. So Barn might actually die here. Oh, my mouse is gone. Hold up. There it is. Yeah, so they're going to kill my Barn. So they didn't, they knew I didn't have dodge food. Whereas I kind of thought they might have dodge food, right? That's where my problem is. So, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to do. Who do I want to die? Let's do that. I'm hoping for a crit. And then let's do that and that. Hoping this crit. Nope. If I had crit there, she was dead. And then I would have double killed them. Right. So there's the crit. This should kill. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay. So now we're one for one here. I presume maybe she's got Easton in the back. No, okay, Arthur. So that's where the crit, additional crit defense came from as well. So Arthur's also a good choice. I like having Easton because I feel like Easton is just... Like, this is a very, like, goodbye. <laughs> okay. This Eastern, Eastern's a very, like, just, okay. So this is the problem when you leave Escanor alive, right? I was hoping I would be able to kill um, both Roxy and Barn with that, because the additional death damage and stuff would have would have done me solid. But look, you know what it is? It is what it is. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm dead here, but we'll give it a red hot crack anyway. Okay, so there's Roxy, so it's 2v1, and I have ult. Escanor kills me now. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's two. Two losses, one win. That's fine. That's fine. Um, but this is... I actually... That is the benefit of having that Arthur in the back, right? Is he does give you more crit defense, so he does, does make you tankier. Um, but I'm, I'm more of a, a, a balls to the wall kind of guy. Like my tier... I love my tier Ragnarok team where you just go in and you one-shot the entire team or you don't, right? Like, there's no in-between. Same thing with this team. It's very much, uh, okay, you kill one person instantly, 
Okay, Demon Team again. So let's try this one more time. We're going to go after the melee again. And we're going to see if we can pop off with Barn the way I'm hoping we can. Now, I should have checked if Tamiya will link. Oh, no dodge food. Interesting. Yeah, cool. Okay, now in theory, this kills. Okay, cool. So there's that extra part. And boom, dead. All right, so now I have the basic stat increase from Easton in the back. Um, Melly's dead, which is one of the threats. So next thing's next. I'm just honestly going to go straight for the Demon King. I'm just going to use as many cards as I can. Uh, I'll probably do Roxy and then double Escanor card. Um, just to hopefully get the kill. Because that's really the only way. Like if I can kill them both in one shot, that's where the benefit is going to be, right? So... Because I'm all about that death damage life. As you guys probably know by this point. So I don't know... Okay, I need this to crit ideally. Okay, perfect. So that crit would have then done the death damage anyway and would have killed, right? So now in two turns, I've got rid of two of them. I've also increased my basic, basic stats by basic? basic stats by 14%. Right, and I keep depleting their alt gauge as well. So my barn's dead here, but that's okay because my Escanor has been cooking, right? As you guys know, the more eternal flames, the better. So I'm not overly concerned. All I'm really going to do here is just go straight for the um, the Estorosa because obviously he's the only one that's really the big threat, but he will die, hopefully, unless I stuff this up. There you go. So there's 226. So using Roxy and Barn allows me to basically try and do damage up front early on when Escanor doesn't isn't ready to go. And then as he builds up, we should, we're pretty good. So we'll wrap this up and then we'll move on to the next one. But this has kind of been a team that I've been really enjoying playing. So I am a big fan of the Ragnarok team, as you guys know. Um, but I'm actually finally kind of got my rhythm with this team and like how it can kind of do well and, and what the kind of strategies are for it. I did it on stream and uh, it wasn't the most impressive, but we've got we've got a down pat now where we're on top of it. So um like I said, you can run green bar, green bar, green Arthur in the back. That'll give you additional things. 30% HP as well as crit defense as well. Right, when you have debuffs. That sounds about right. Um, but this is just an all out. Go first. Like I said, balls to the wall. Go for the kill or go for broke. And I think this is kind of... Oh, I got out CC'd. Curious. Now, I'm still so paranoid about <laughs> dodge food. But I'm going to risk it in saying that at my level, even though Demon Team can have really high CC, I'm going to risk it and say that he's got um, just CC food. So uh, this is the first time I've actually gone against a Demon King that's gone, f a Demon King team that's gone first. So we'll actually see how this plays out. So it looks like curious. Straight for that. I mean, maybe he was expecting me to have... Yeah, I think he was expecting me to have dodge food. Um, maybe. Yeah, so this is where I'm probably in trouble because I've got the double layer of darkness. Um, and I'm going to guess... Tamiya Link? Yeah, this is the thing, right? It gets very frustrating. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go straight for this. Now, this might dodge food. No, okay, good. Clay doesn't have dodge food. That would have been um, that would have been a very high CC for this rank to have dodge food. Missed all the crits, which is not ideal. Why am I not? Oh, because I'm like, I thought that was a. Ugh, I'm an idiot. Never mind, fam. Never mind. I think I'm a bit of a, a bit of a dumbass there. So that's on me. I've given. I gave him true magic, rather than. <laughs> so I mean, I, that's me misplaying, trying to figure out a few things, right? So. I lose here because I've stuffed up. But it is what it is. So hopefully you guys understand like kind of how I've been playing this team and like how I'm having fun with it. It is good fun. Like I said here, I've just completely misplayed and um, I'm dead. But that's okay. You live and learn. Um, so you know what? Let's go Barn. Let's go Barn. Barn can do this for sure. 
Um, just the fact that he's, I think, encroached and yeah. Or I could just have a million Eastern cards. That also works. Let's see if we can kill this melee. Uh, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. Let's see what we can make happen here. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the, the gist of the team. I actually don't hate the meta at the moment. I think like Demon King is with Tamiya Link is definitely incredibly, oh, so close. Uh, is definitely incredibly annoying, but I think there is ways to beat him. Like I said, if you do have like a Rudeus or something like that, that in fact really does come in handy. But by using something like this, where you can bypass the damage caps with, you know, um, with Barn and with Roxy, ideally, <laughs> without completely misplaying it, um, it has been a lot of fun. So I will take back a little bit of what I said about our Esk our Lara Escanor in the beginning. Um, I do think we need a better potential unit somewhere in here, uh, maybe a backline unit for them. Because the thing is, like, Eastern really only kicks in when you defeat an enemy, right? Which is which is good, and that's the idea first turn. But if you had something that maybe boosts basic stats in the back straight away, or boosts attack, or something like that, like you could, like we we're talking about, right? You can run, you can run this Arthur instead. So, uh, allies crit defense increased by three for every debuff effect applied to them, right? So you can have a fifty percent crit defense increase, which is good and makes them a bit tankier. But I'm a I'm a all attack, all or nothing kind of guy. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. I uh, hope you're using your LRS and having fun with it. Um, and as always, I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks heaps for watching.